Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video review covering three new small mice on the market. You guys have probably heard of one or maybe all of these. Um, the VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro Max is the only one that does have the capability of having a dongle attachment for 4K Hertz polling, but all three of these have 3395 sensors. The Dragonfly coming with grips that seem pretty damn good. They almost look like BTL grips. The AJ199 does have a removable top shell. You can choose between the whole version or the holeless. And the Vancer Caster Pro does come with a dongle that has a screen on it where you can see some of your different settings. I do think that the dongle is kind of a gimmick. Once I set my DPI, I'm not changing it constantly. I don't need a screen to know what DPI I'm on. And if I'm ever unsure, I can just cycle back down to the lowest DPI and then go however many steps until I get to the right DPI. So I think the dongle is something I've never used since testing the mouse. Nothing I would ever use, period. I think it's just kind of one of those gimmicky things. Nothing I would ever use or you know claim to you guys is some big deal that should persuade you to go for the Vancer Caster Pro over these other mice. In terms of the internals, again, the VGN does have the capability of going to 4K on the Pro Max version. Uh, so arguably the best internals out of the three, but overall the sensor performance feels the same on all of these. The Caster Pro does have a firmware version called the God Mode. Um, I think that the sensor performance feels the same on all three of these mice. I didn't notice uh, any big upgrade or leap going from the Dragonfly to the AJ to the Caster Pro. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that uh, you're gonna get some massive performance upgrade going to one of the three. It's all going to boil down to the shape, the build quality, and how you feel on the mouse. Speaking of how I felt on the mice, I have hands that are a little over 21.5 in length. I did not enjoy any of these three shapes. I think if I had to put them in order, I would go AJ199, then the Caster Pro, and then the VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro Max. If you have really small hands, I could see you liking the VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro Max. Uh, but for me, my hands kind of want to grip this thing and hold on for dear life. And the top right side of the mouse is just not really shaped in a way that is locking my ring finger or my pinky finger onto the mouse. And it makes me kind of inconsistent. It's making my grip change every time I pick up the mouse and it just doesn't feel good. You can see the way that the right side of the mouse kind of angles this way. So you kind of have to, uh, at least I have to, place my uh, ring finger on the side of the mouse. And then on the side, it's kind of angled in a way that's sloping downward. So my fingers just don't want to lock onto the mouse. The Vancer Caster Pro has a shape that is almost rectangular. It feels very flat on the sides, feels very flat in your hand. Um, in terms of the width and where you grip it, um, almost rectangular in how it feels and how narrow and flat the sides are. In terms of the comfort grooves that flare out from the bottom side of the mouse, um, again, if, if you told me that the caster and the VGN came from the same factory, I'd absolutely believe you. I think that these two mice have um, a little too many similarities in their appearance, but the Dragonfly does have a very different hump the Vancer caster kind of slopes up gra gradually from the butt of the mouse until it gets to the peak and then slopes forward. So it feels very, very almost like conforming to your hand. It gives you more of a base and more stability for tracking purposes. Um, and even just when you are flicking, it kind of just molds to your hand and feels a lot better to me than the VGN Dragonfly F1 Pro Max. That kind of, the hump goes up and then gets to its peak fairly early, and then that peak kind of extends. Um, but for whatever reason, the hump almost feels targeted um, right here, and you just don't really get this like overwhelming placement of stability for your hand to rest on. It's more of like resting your hand on a fine point like that, and it just doesn't feel good to me. It just provides not as much stability, in my opinion, than the Caster Pro or the AJ199. The Mouse 1 and Mouse 2, you can see, is a little bit wider than the Caster Pro. It flares out a little bit more, but then again swoops down. And Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 are concave. So my index finger and my middle finger actually do feel good on Mouse 1 and Mouse 2. 
that kind of makes it feel like your fingers are locked in. I think it's a pretty good design decision, kind of like what Pulsar did on the X2. Um, but it is ABS material and does feel fairly cheap. When you squeeze the VGN, you can actuate one of the side buttons on the mouse. I think that the side buttons feel okay, but they're very stiff. It's almost like pushing a piece of plastic into a wall. It's not the most pleasurable, spammable experience, but it feels better than the Vancer Caster Pro, which has side buttons that are almost mute and just squishy feeling. You don't get this great sense of tactility, uh, and there is a lot of side wobble on Mouse 4 and Mouse 5, and a heck load of a lot of post-travel. I think the biggest necessary upgrade for the Vancer Caster Pro or biggest necessary fix are these side buttons. The side buttons are just too small, they're thin, and again, they're just too mushy and inconsistent feeling. With my mouse 4 feeling just different in its tension than mouse 5, just overall not an enjoyable experience for somebody who uses mouse 4 and mouse 5 a lot. And the uh, mouse 3 is very dense. It takes quite a lot to want to continue to spam that if you're anybody who ever spams mouse three. Uh, it feels a little bit better on the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly has Kale 8.0s and the worst feeling switches out of the three. The caster uses TTC Golds and in my opinion has the best switch feel for mouse one and mouse two out of the three and the best skates. The Dragonfly and the Ajaz AJ199 have skates that feel somewhat comparable, um, nothing to write home about at all. And the Ajaz does have blue shell pink dots that do feel better than the Dragonfly, but does have side buttons that are uh, just riddled with side play, post-travel, pre-travel, overall not a very enjoyable experience. In terms of build quality, you can squeeze this thing. It's kind of like a tank. The shell moves a little bit, but doesn't actuate the side buttons. There's no switch grinding on mouse one and mouse two. Very little side play on the AJAZ AJ199. Um, and mouse three feels a lot better on the AJAZ than the other two mice. I think the AJAZ has probably the best feeling build quality. And the Vancer Caster uh, is okay in its build quality. There's no you know, moving at all when you are squeezing this thing. So they did a pretty good job. Just those side buttons are just so unfortunate how bad they are. Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 have a little bit of side play. Um, nothing to really worry about. Nothing that you're going to feel in game. Um, and I do just have a little bit of uh, flex on Mouse 1 that you do feel ever so slightly in Mouse 2. Just a little bit of creaking. Um, but again, nothing that I would ever feel in game. I mean, that's just me kind of pulling with quite a bit of force. In terms of the pre and post travel on mouse one and mouse two, there's a bit of pre travel on the caster, not a whole lot of post travel. And on the dragonfly, I think the plastic used here on the dragonfly is just the poorest quality of the two or out of the three. Um, you can kind of just see it like flex and sway and the plastic kind of almost looks like it can bend in certain areas on mouse one and mouse two. Overall though, pre-travel is actually minimal and post-travel is minimal as well, just based on the design of the mouse. Again, these side buttons just very dense and not the most enjoyable. Um, and mouse one and mouse two, not quite as good as the other two mice. I think that overall the build quality is kind of similar amongst the group. I think it's going to boil down to your shape and how you perform on these mice. Again, I think that the Ajaz AJ199 to me just feels the most like a mouse that has the grooves and the, and the curves and the turns in the right position to really lock you in and to get you to have a really nice stable feel for not only your flicks, but your tracking as well. The caster, again, is very narrow feeling and rectangular in how narrow and flat the sides are. It's going to be an experience that will really boil down to how you hold the mouse. I think depending on your grip, uh, you could be okay. And then the VGN Dragonfly, again, just has, in my opinion, the most awkward shape of the three. If you have really small hands, you might have a totally different experience than me. You might absolutely love this thing. Uh, but for me, I think the... Dragonfly definitely has the most issues in its overall feel to me out of the three. 
My recommendation would be the cheapest recommendation, the AJAZZ AJ199. I think for me, I perform the best on it. I think it feels the best in terms of its shape. All three of these have um, weight that is nothing so far amongst the three that I, would, that I would recommend one over the other. Caster Pro is 56 grams. The AJAZZ with the holes is 62. And the Dragonfly is 56. So they're all around the same mark. Again, I think the biggest thing is the shape differences. I think the AJAZZ AJ199, if you're going to try one of these, uh, my recommendation is the AJ199. I think you might like it if you were looking for kind of like a mini G Pro Superlight. I don't want to put it in the same camp as the uh, G Pro Superlight because I think it is vastly different. Um, but if you're looking for something that I could see some similarities the AJAZZ AJ199 would be my pick of the three. I hope that helped, guys. If anybody was interested in some of the new small mice that hit the market, a lot of these coming out of China for fairly cheap with 33.95 sensors, pretty good weight balance across the block. If it helped, please leave a sub to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.